back on the beat. We're not going trash picking though. This weekend's going to be all about maintenance. We got multiple trucks to do maintenance on. Got all the parts in. So that's what we're going to be doing for the next couple days. It's supposed to be really nice weather this week, so definitely going to have to get some yard work done and some farm stuff. So let's get these trucks worked on. That way I don't have to worry about them for this spring, summer maybe. Get this stuff done. You, you, you putting your dingle dongle in there? Did you find it? See what codes this bad boy's got? On the hole real quick. Might have to wiggle the wheel. Sometimes it's a little sticky. Uh, the truck's broken. No, it works every time. <laughs> it's a shifter. Go ahead. Wiggle the shifter. You said the wheel, not the. Well, shifter. I don't know. I, usually it works. Check engine. Technology. I need to cut this wood up for the stove. All this fancy technology. Communicating. Communicating. <laughs> I don't know if it's going to work in here. Yeah. Why? Because you got no service? Whoa, 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 what? System two rich, random misfire. System Catalyst. two rich, bank one. Random misfire, catalyst system efficiency below threshold, an EVAP system leak detected, small leak. That could be a gas cap or something, right? Can you just clear them all? I'll put these O2s in and we'll see what happens. I know, people, I need a windshield, but why put a $300 windshield in a truck that's not going to pass inspection, right? I mean, even aftermarket cats are what? 100 and something? 150 a piece? Something like that. You can just get the extra generic ones, like, not even for their truck. Yeah. And weld them in, I know, but. They're super How much are they, do you remember? All right, turn the key on. Is there no check engine light? Holy, hey, it's gone. We're mechanics. We're mechanicking. All right, let's put some O2 sensors in this bad boy. I already loosened that one over there. Came right out. Now, now that we're filming, this one won't, right? I tell See, we like these southern trucks. Huh. You guys got it easy down there. Jeez. That one don't like life. Wow. Actually, is that an aftermarket one? Wonder if this is the stock one back here, dude. Oh, see, this is the one I was talking about. That's a just square. Yeah. See it? So this would be secondary. So the ones I have are primary, which is all three of them. And then this one back here. This one has. I don't know why it's got three of them. So it wants to make sure that two cylinders are... Well, this one also is in like a patch, but it must have been there. It was probably right in the front of the, the original catalytic converter, right? Maybe. So 
somebody did that. I don't know. This is all cobbled together. But that's a four thing, so. I don't know. I'm going to put some heat on that bad boy. I think I should even bother putting any seeds on this stuff. Yeah. Huh? You're planning on keeping this dry. Oh, it's, it's high heat. You mean to tell me that stuff's gonna hold up? Even copper is gonna hold up to this header? This, this header gets hot, man. You see me doing them 100 mile an hour passes? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, it doesn't even really look that bad, but. Definitely been changed, but I mean, what's the lifespan for an O2? I guess, and it burns it out. But like, look at these. This is left bank, driver's side, passenger. Do you know which one's which? Well, bank one, bank one is wherever number one cylinder is, right? Yeah. yeah. Whatever side number one side is. I'd say this is probably right? bank two because it's way more soda than one. Is it more soda? Not a lot, but it's a little good bit? amount. Like, it probably twice as soda, but it still ain't bad. It's probably yeah, it's higher like, up than it is. Didn't it say bank one, Rich? No, it said two. Oh, yeah, I see it, yeah. It did say bank two? Yeah. All right, well, we might be doing some spider injector soon. Or taking old Yeller out to the back 40 <laughs> with the rest of them. So what you were saying, this one's bank two? The sorted up one, oh this side. I wonder if the spider injectors are dumping. Or what were you saying, clean the mat? Yeah, but if it was a mat, it'd probably be doing it to both of them. Oh, look, it's got ANCs on it already. Wow. Gosh, we'll put a little extra on there. Ooh, this stuff. Don't get it on the sensor. All right. Am I even in the camera? No. Nothing first, but you aren't now. You gotta pay attention to what you're doing. The fan? Fan's loud, but it's whatever. We need heat. You can fire it up if you want. It's hot enough. I'm just gonna probably put it in high speed anyway. Because Try a different tool here and see. That other one, I couldn't get enough leverage on this guy. Oh man, that don't feel good.
still not easy. Feels like it's gonna break off. I gotta put some more spray in there now that it's opened up. What is that? Any trading oil? We only use PB around here. Somebody brought it in. It's our sponsor. I don't think we're sponsored yet. <laughs> Far from sponsored. Got, you can tell it's old. It's got a 1980s gas tank in it. You got your your branded over here, dude. Yeah. They're on all of them. Where's the Eddie at? Oh, jeez. This thing is not not liking life. You got it. Yeah, if you do it like a tap. Threads. Oh, there it goes. That one's way different. Still a four plug. That's a different brand, bro. Yeah. I'm wondering if this is an original one or not. You would think the AC Delta was hard, but it definitely wasn't plugged. Come on, get over there. There we go. <laughs> this is actually in its factory loom here. Something's going on here. My finger. That looked like it hurt. <sighs> Come on. Here. Is that the stock? That is the bracket. See, this one's never been changed. It's literally in its factory wire loom. Like up here. Oh, I guess somebody might put it in there, but you guys see the clip there? Let me get a screwdriver. Uh, maybe you can kind of see it. Pass this bunk muffler mount. get it unplugged because the body's in the way. There's the whole look. Uh, I guess it's there. Some, some sort of thread in there. making a noise up here. I thought it was maybe the lower ball joints, but I think it's a wheel bearing. Probably need to be packed. Re-greased. <laughs> it ain't supposed to sound like that. <laughs> this side ain't nowhere. This side still makes some noise though. Not as bad as the other side, but it's still noisy. It almost sounds like the rims are loose. 
I know. Come on, you Shabby. want me to turn the wheel? Everybody want to help? I might. Come on. Um. It's Thanks. probably gonna lock. Yeah. Yep. Locked. Just get the ones you can get. <laughs> oh, you see the water come out of there? No. Yeah, it dripped water out of it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. See, I don't think the ball joints are bad. It's definitely the spindles. Yeah, they're still very some. Yeah, I probably should get some brake pads, though. I'm just swapping before I re repack them. At least I know what it is. I think this thing's got air. Probably. Maybe not. Maybe the ball joints are that empty. The ball joints that dry. Oh yeah. Getting the tune up. That was probably the problem last time is I couldn't get to that one and it never got grease. Well, the one on the other side. Yeah. There you go. Everything's greasable on here though. Oh that one's stuck. Yeah. I need a pick. Maybe I should swap it. Oh, Jesus. Landed in the kitty litter. Maybe I should just swap that greaser. Oh, I think I got some over here. I think I got some over here. Maybe we should put a 90 on that other one too, so it's not a problem in the future. Oh, I think I got some. Idea. Yeah, a tool in there. Nah, I, I don't do a lot of, change a lot of grease. Well, no, this is fitting. No, I think that's for these fittings to ream them, uh, retap them. It's like the same thing as the tire. Yeah. Yeah, put it in your kit. This one we're gonna put a 90 on, right? If we can get it in there. It looks bigger than the other one. Eight's definitely not fitting on there. It's like a nine. Or three. Yeah. Is it kind of all weak out with the threads? I don't know. You want to pump some grease in this bad boy? That is moving though. A little bit. Thank you. Don't get too violent with it. It's just cross threaded oh, in there. It almost just pushed it in. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, look how much more oh, yeah. there was. Oh, you're leaking. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, that's good enough. It just ripped it out. Yeah, it's all right. They got to be like me where they just want to watch whatever. It doesn't matter. You got a flat here? Mm, somewhere. Available? Out in the wild somewhere? Oh, I got my thing here. I'll just do that. So I can find a flathead in this in this revolver here. You gotta look down the barrel to find it. It's in here somewhere. There's everything in here. Robinson bits. Empty one. Come on, where's the flathead? <laughs> and he took it already. <laughs> oh, there is no. Oh, there it is. We probably went by it already. I like them too because they're captured. Yeah. Makes it easier. Whoa! Come on. You can do it. You can do it. Come on. I don't want to bend my air conditioner hose out of the way. See the can over there? Mass airflow. It's literally like your exact thing. Yeah, I know. Alright. When your truck's been in an accident, or multiple accidents, sometimes things don't really come apart so well. 
Holy Vortec. Try it, leave it. Oh man, I think we gotta clean the other side. Let's see what this looks like. Any stink bugs in there? A little bit of pine needles. Probably could use a new one anyway. Jeez. Oh. I mean, all it is is those three little. <laughs> what? It's those three little diodes. Yeah, I know, but I got to get it out of there because it, the sensor's on the other side. Because that's where the air passes across it. Yeah. If I get it off of there without breaking it. Oh. Curb plop. Ooh, the honeycomb. All right, what do we do? Just spray it off, right? Mm -hmm. Zero Fs to give. I think I did this already. It sounds like it's in it. Yeah, I know. I'd spray those diodes too and then spray it back through the correct way. You know yeah. I mean? Well, we got it cleaned. We got it clipped back in there. Put the air box back together. Pretty sure there's supposed to be like a rubber gasket on here that's kind of a pain to put on. It looks like they didn't put it back on. I've been driving it for like years like this, but I just put some silicone on there. Maybe it'll take care of some of that unmetered air that's going in there all right what's next I got a road test I guess oh we gotta fix the horn I forgot about that the fuse is blown that's where the fuse box is one of them mm. I don't even see horn great all right we got one two what we got here is it the radio fuse i found this one it's blown oh uh, let's we got oh 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 we got interior lights again yay is the horn working oh sounds like an old taxi from a movie Ugh. It's literally green. It's so dark. Can't even see it. Did find a small vacuum leak under the hood just a minute ago. Put a new zip tie on it, but... I guess we'll drive it for couple hundred miles or a hundred miles see if the light comes back on Some new o2s maybe we can get it if we can get it through inspection we'll go spend 300 dollars on a windshield right all right let's go get one of the other trucks all right we got the next one this thing's getting quite a bit of stuff we got a few parts over here for it definitely needs the caliper change this thing is pulling like crazy look at this just dragging. Ow, the lug nuts are hot. That front's got to cool off. That thing's on fire.
All right, well, we got some stuff for this thing. The adjuster in the back is bent, so we're going to have to replace that. We got some tailgate cables, a new, new caliper for the driver's side once that cools off. Because I ain't touching it right now. I think this one came with hardware. It's got brand new hardware on it. Already from changing the pads, so should be good. I took them off the Xterra back in the back field. I was going to swap them. Oh my god, you're going to have to fuck these. Yeah, they're pretty bad. They're not even a nut. Mm hmm. <laughs> and your the mount is just like late in the car. Yeah, wait till you see this adjuster that comes out of here. I don't even know if I'm going to be able to get it out now. I don't know because it's. Just fighting me. I had to. Uh, I'm pretty sure I had to take the springs off. I got to get a pair of pliers, needle nose pliers. I like these ones though. I don't know why. I think the teeth are pretty, pretty dumb. Mm. I don't remember where that one goes. Are you gonna get the copyright flag? Maybe, or I just break it up, put it in high speed or something. Nobody. Nobody wants to see real speed. I need an oil change for OD. Who? For OD. Your Jonathan, brother? Jonathan Sanchez. <laughs> um, okay. Are you a click, quick lube now? <laughs> Midas over here. All right. Come on. You can do it. There you go. Something tells me this isn't the right adjuster. <laughs> the one that they sent me, I, I just... Man, that looks way small, doesn't it? Hmm. And this side's got a, uh, a double thing on it, not a single. Hmm, something tells me it's the wrong one. Can we cobble it together anyway? Let's see how far this comes out. Man, that thing comes way out there. So maybe it is right. Got plenty of adjustment. Man, maxed out though, it's not even. Hmm. Think we got the wrong one, boys. Wonder if I can put this in that one. Because I think this is the part that's bent. Guess we'll go to the bench. Wait, what's. Well, it's the wrong adjuster. So I just manually adjusted the one in there. You got to take it all apart and adjust it, put it back together. It's tight, but this is where you want it, kind of. You don't want to do this, but it works. All right, that'll wear right in. <laughs> Oh, that's hot. Holy crap, that inside one's really hot.
Whoa! <laughs> Fell off! <laughs> I don't know, I probably should turn the wheel. Yeah. <laughs> I think everything's held on with zip ties, truthfully. You got to go around once every two years and replace them all because they get all brittle. Oh, the bed got worse. The bed's held together with zip ties. Check out my zip tie work in the wheel wells. It's classic. Dude, I got some crisscross action going on in there. <laughs> Pulled it both ways. I got girders on the bridge. That point made it a little more solid. It definitely is. It don't flap in the breeze yeah, now when I drive down the road. Zip ties possible. Shit. What? You're fucking shocked. Yeah, I know. They're original. I can tell. Mm -hmm. So is this fuck. Oh my, dude, how does this brake line not blow out yet? I don't know, but that's that's dude. next on the list is that brake line. Can I poke it? Don't touch it. Can I please pull? Don't touch it. Leave it alone. I don't have a brake line with me right now. So you order a caliper. Uh, yeah. yeah, I can't make. I can make a brake line. I can't make a caliper. Uh, you can't make this part of the brake line. Yeah, you can. The hard to the salt. Yeah, that one, that part's fine. It's the rusty, the rusty hard line that I'm worried about. Yeah, well, the soft line part. Worry about your own truck, Eddie. He loves to be nosy when you're working on your shit, but if you start poking at his shit, you don't like it. All right. Don't imagine you got the biggest piece of shit out of the ball. We like big pieces of crap. They cost a lot less. What? I paid 300 for the truck, but I don't know what I got. Uh, don't be jealous. Your truck's going to the grocery store every day, and this one's doing work. That's all I got to say. <laughs> right? Wow, that sucker was on there. That's why you get it off when the <laughs> Yeah, but I didn't want it dripping all over the place. That's why I didn't do it. Later, so. Yeah. It's a lot less of a mess. Oh my god, there it all goes. Everybody's taking it in. Burden scraps paying two fifty for THM right now. Yeah. They're picky though, dude. I'm telling you. When you go there, you'll see. Why is paying? No, they go through all of it, dude. if you're on West Christian, you Yeah, I'm just saying they're they're still gonna go through all of it. They go through everything. One piece at a time. 
They don't say, go ahead, throw it in the bin. <laughs> that, that don't happen there. All right, who's pumping? Oh, don't push that hard. Those little chicken legs can't push that hard. I'll do it. No, those legs can push hard. We know that. We're just <laughs> Ready? Mm -hmm. Alright, pump it up. Hold it. Floor. Oh shit, I slipped off. Alright, pump it up. One more time. Yeah, I'm not opening a lot because I don't want it shooting all over the place. Okay. One more time, and we'll call it. Yeah, I know. Just one more time, and then we'll call it. There we go. All right. You're good. That thing's cool, isn't it? These things are so messed up. This one was the one you... No. Oh, that one? Uh, kind of went. I think it was the next one. Maybe. This thing definitely needs new lug nuts. Next day, springs in the air, that's for sure. I was hoping to get back over to the shop and mess around with these things, but I got too much stuff going on today, running errands and things. But this one's gonna need brake pads, and I'm pretty sure I have a couple 14 inch tires down back, which I probably should throw on here because this... Really? What's up, bud? This side's not too bad, but I'll probably put that one on the back and put the two 14s on the front of this. And uh, I need to go get some brake pads for this thing because I wasn't going to take the wheels apart and repack them without throwing a set of pads on there. There's no sense taking them apart twice. That, I still need to fix the door on this thing. The door pin's wasted. So maybe I'll weld that back up, but that's probably going to have to wait till one day this week. But we'll get to it. We got the red truck done. We got this thing 75% done. Uh, this one we didn't touch yet. And the other truck we didn't touch yet. So <laughs> we'll get there. All right, y'all. Thanks for watching. Hit that thumbs up. Subscribe. I'm going to try to go do some trash picking tonight. We'll see what we can find. See y'all on the next one.